woods in hand. He sharpened his knives and patched his box for books across the land. With horse and cart and tools and forge, he works in on his trade. And men and women all around have heard his hammer's merry sound. And use what he has made. Chad was driving in his cart, the sun was going down. The road blew up and the wind was chill with miles to go to town. He came upon a crossroads where men's bones lay all around. Where robbers taken there and hung for trillions they had picked and swung. And down a thoughtful sound. Snapping range, doctor, jackers, the source to lead there straight away. When cartwheel hit a pothole and with cracking noise gave way. But the road was dark and dangerous, the horse's eyes showed fright. The cart was well and truly stopped, Jack thrown and cursed his rotten luck. And made to spend the night. The tinker's life is often hard with little wealth or ease. Jack wrapped his cloak around himself and went blew through the trees. The moon was filled with a deathly light. Jack's camp was cold and roof. But then he heard a rattling click of misty red rose from the bank and shambled up to him. His form was of a husky man with clothes that had a wreck. With eyes all wide and staring and a new suit drowned his neck. His wrists and legs were shackled tight, with chains all hard and black. It clanked and rattled as it near a sound of whisper grinning and fear, and shambled up to Jack. Jack hid his fear and forced his smell. Good evening, sir, he said. I fear I have no fire warm to set you down beside. Yet I would never have it said, I'm not the proper host. So say what I might do for thee to make your time here merry be, though you may be a ghost. I said the ghost with the choking voice of service you may be. Just cut this nose for a moment and then take these chains from me. And if you do these things for me before the moon is asleep, the gold from which I robbed and killed and hid within these very hills, I'll give for you to keep. So goes the jack with hearty voice, though shaking in the knees. I'll try my best to cut that nasty noose and chain from me. A tinker is your man for this, but first I beg to ask, what happens if, despite my best, the moon sits down herself to rest on the sun finished task? Remove my bonds, the specter said, by sucking at a moon. And now the gold that I have hid, I'll show and give to you. I can try it and fail by sitting on the moon. Yet own shall I with those around and mold on this very ground. And none shall know your doom. The ghost gave out a chosen laugh, a brutal hacking bark. Jack's horse reared up and broke his spines and spat into the dark. Jack strove to gain control of fear, his pain went down and heart. He turned and searched to find the tools and implements to free the ghoul. And rummaged in his car. Jack pulled out his finest file and put it to the chain. It passed as though the steel were missed, the effort was in vain. Jack said knife with razor edge against the ghostly rope. But every move cut only here with ghost the chain and noose still there. But Jack did not do so. The moon sank low and so Jack tried with file and knife blade right. He cut into that chain and loose he learned with all his life. The blade the file could make no mark, they pass as if through smoke. Yet fails on his fail, this trial, the specter said with a ghastly smile. My tools can't cut a ghost. The moon was touching on the trees, the ghost was still in chain. But what the ghost had said began to echo in Jack's brain. My tools can't cut a ghost, he said, words to Jack began. Jack placed his tools upon a stone with a dead man's white thigh bone. He shattered knife and file. The knife and file and pieces fell with glitter as of jewels. The glowing in the pieces were the ghost of both the zoom. Jack took the broken blade and knife and cut away the noose. With six good strokes, the shattered file and chain from the shivering pile. The specter's bonds were loose. But in its place, a leather sack lay on the frozen ground. Jack bent his strength to pick it up. It was filled with gold, of course. He packed the gold within a pack. He grinned and put it on his back and went to find his horse. Jack
Jack the Tinker makes his way by clever with an hand. He sharpens eyes and patches hogs for boats across the land. With strong new horse and carts and tools, he works with all the train. And men and women. 